everybody, it's Shelby, and we're in Shelby's Crafty Corner. How are y'all today? Let's hop on, hop, let's hop on and make a bunny wreath, no pun intended. As always, drink my afternoon coffee. I'm on the, I'm riding the struggle bus today, y'all. I ain't slept in a couple nights. So, maybe some of y'all will hop on here in a second, we'll see. I don't have my iPad. I wish I did so I could see. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I had to put on Do Not Disturb. I forgot my phone already started ringing and we've been in here all of like not even a minute. So. Okay. Hey, y'all. Say hey when you hop on. I know I'm reaching across. I don't have anything in here to be able to read anything. So hopefully my comments will start coming up. Hey, Lacey. Okay, I see your comment. Awesome. So I went live through Creator Studio this time, like they say you're supposed to. And so I'm like, eh, I don't know. So hey, Lacey, how are you? We are going to make a super cute bunny wreath today on this moss wreath base. And I have like so much stuff on my table. It's ridiculous. Look how pretty it is. Where did I get this from? Ooh. Now the dog's about to start playing with it. Oh well. Y'all are probably about to hear that for a while. You would think you wouldn't have to turn it a certain way, but I feel like that I feel like that looks smaller than that side. I don't know. So let's get started. Gosh, I have a total mess. I tried to clean this up a little bit and bring in the stuff I wanted to use, and it's a disaster. So, I think I got that from, oh, Kali. So, um, I don't remember her website name. Her name's Kali, K-A-L-E-A. -E and so that's where I got the moss wreath base from. They're hard to snag, especially, I wanted, I really wanted the rectangle ones, but they are so hard to get right now. Everybody's sold out of them. So, I don't know if anyone else's comment. I saw Lacey's, but when you hop on, say hi. Let me see if I can see your comments. Let's hang out a little bit. Have some fun. And get this thing started. So, I'm just taking some tags off my stuff. Go. All right, we're going to start building up our base. Start building our base up. So I have this awesome fern bush from Hobby Lobby that you're not even really going to see on here. But I need some backup. So obviously we want this moss base to show, but we also want it to be full. So we gotta get some filler in here. And I chose this fern because it's a lighter color green and a lot of these other greens I'm using are really dark. And so this is gonna help break it up a little bit. Hey y'all, when you hop on, say hi. Or give me some likes or some hearts or some something because this is my first time going live through here so I feel like I can't see everything that I'm supposed to see, but I don't know. I really. If I would charge my iPad, it would probably be beneficial, but you know. If y'all are like me, y'all are probably charger poor, and your kids have taken all of them, and the ones you have left with are the ones off Amazon that don't work very well. All right, we're going to see if we can get this worked in to this base. These are a little trickier because they don't have... They don't have a lot of the holes to work with. Okay, I'm going to scooch y'all in just a little bit, possibly, so y'all can see a little bit better. There we go. And so we might have to work our way around with the scissors and make some holes of our own. So 
because this thing does not care and it is not forgiving. I'm going to use my not great scissors. Already going glue crazy up in here. And so we're just making a base. We don't have to go crazy with this. We don't have to make it perfect or anything like that. We're just creating our base. Just to get some color back there and some depth. Oh my gosh, go in. It's not that hard. Get in there. Like, I know you want to. What you're meant to do. Okay, so my glue pot is not going to be my friend today. We're going to have to shove these in and glue them the old-fashioned way with our glue gun. Are y'all, if y'all are comment, I don't know if y'all are comment or not. I have one comment from Lacey and that's it. Hey mom. <laughs> so, hey Sherry. Okay, well I guess maybe there's a couple more. Y'all gotta say hi. Y'all are just hanging out there in La La Land. Say hi. You would think with these moss bases that it would just... It almost looks like it would just stick right through. I'm here to tell you, it does not. I'm kind of already over it. I already want to move on. Get in there. It's okay. It's going to get better once we get these ferns added, I promise. It's going to get better. We're just going to add a few more. And y'all are going to be like, praise the Lord, that's over. Because that took forever. Be worth it because it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. La, la, la. Just gotta sing through it. Gotta sing through the pain. Okay. Now, let's glue these in because we don't want them to fall out. We're gonna work so hard getting them in there. I don't want them going anywhere. All right, so let's glue these in right here. And we'll start adding some other pieces. Let's see. So these are a super cute, grassy, brightly colored grass bush. And I think these are Vickerman. I think I bought I think I bought these from the ribbon to bow gals. Ribbon to bows. And so these are pushers, and so I'm just gonna push them all to the top. We'll snip those off. Babe. Hello? 
hey, Gavin. <laughs> but who is here? All right. These are super pretty. We gotta get our garden working. We are making an Easter garden. So this one's going to be super wispy and just full and sticking out all over the place. That fern didn't want to stay up there, so that's okay. We might put him back in there later. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody who's coming in. Happy Thursday. I hope y'all are having a fantabulous week so far. Tomorrow's Friday. Praise the Lord. So I have two of these. I'm just cutting up one for now and we can always add some more later. And so those ferns and those grassy pieces, we just work them in here. Just in a fun kind of way. And then we'll save the other ones for later if we decide to start adding them. Now, I also brought these. So these are huge, and these come from Hobby Lobby, and they're only $6.99. Obviously, they're 50% off every other week. So I thought about adding some of those, and I think I am, because I'm trying to make this full and fun, and we're just going to add a whole lot to it. This is a custom order, and she likes over-the-top stuff, so we're going over-the-top. Oh. My husband just came in, apparently, on the phone, so let me shut my door. Oh. That means it's going to get hot in here. It always gets hot in here because I got my cooker going over here. Let's see. These are so fun. They have so many different colors in them, like the browns and stuff. I think that's really fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, we're definitely going to need some scissors for this one. Do a dip and stick. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're making this thing huge, huge. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be fabulous. And we are working in so many different colors and textures in here. It's gonna be great. And we're still really, I mean, these are going to stick out, obviously, but we're still really just setting a tone, setting our base for the project. So that looks crazy as heck right now. <laughs> Do y'all see that? But it looks, oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. This is going to look fantastic. I just gotta look fabulous. I'm not using this, but I brought it in. Look at this grass. So I guess I bought it last year and it was in my shed. And I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to use this in yet. Maybe a centerpiece. That's going to be awesome. Okay. These are one of my favorite picks from Hobby Lobby because it's so airy and wispy. And they're very inexpensive. I pulled the tags off earlier. So they're $6.99 and they're 50% off. But you get several picks. They're pushers. So they're just really like all the great things that you need in a pick. Now I'm not pushing these up high because I do want them to stick out and be full. Because I'm not putting them in a mesh base. So we're going to snip these off and start working these in. That is just such a wispy little pick. I think it's absolutely darling. It's darling. Okay, coffee first. Hey, Wendy. So I feel like the comments are popping up late. If they are, I'm so sorry. But hey, Wendy from Indiana. How are you? Yes, I'm drinking out of the Halloween cup. 
just love me through it. Yeah, so I know y'all probably can't really see what I got going on with this piece in here, but it is so top notch in here. And I think this will, it's got a thin little pick. I think it should stick through there without me fighting it too much. And I'm just sticking that right out. So it's just like this weed that's going in our garden and it's beautiful. It has given me some fullness and some wispiness. It's just so light and airy. You know, I'm going to watch this come together, even though it looks a hot mess express right now. I'm going to watch it come together. I'm going to watch it come together <laughs> because this is the first wreath that I've made on a moss base like this. So, yeah, first time for everything. Mm, everything's sticking to me. Not this hair. This hair is about to go up in a clip. Sometimes I just try to be so stinking fancy and leave my hair down like normal girls. I'm just, I'm not, I'm just, I just ain't it. It gets in my way. It gets in my face. All right, we're just working this down. We got a long way with one pick, so I think I'm going to cut up one more. Put a couple more pieces in there, and then we'll save some for later. You get six of them off of that pick for $3.50. Not bad. Not bad at all. Save in here. I get it sprinkled all throughout. Even though you think you can't see it, I promise you can. It's all in the little details. Now I'm leaving this spot empty because that's where I want to put my bow. So I've left that kind of empty on purpose. Let's see. Get some more going up top. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and make our bow. That way we can work around it. So let's make it. So look at this beautiful ribbon. It is D. Stevens, so D. Stevens is amazing. And look at those bunnies and that carrot. So this is super pretty for a farmhouse, but we're gonna pair it with colors. And it's gonna be so gorgeous. And we're gonna put it right smack dab in the middle. Let's tie us a hand bow. All right. Let's get started with our tail. And now that's the only designer ribbon that I'm using in this bow. And I'm going to leave some long tails. She wanted some flowy tails. So I'm leaving some long tails. Let's see how big I want this. I don't want it too big. Measure it out, and it's even. Get my good scissors. All right, and now we can build it up from here. That is such a vibrant green. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to make the loops a little bit smaller because I don't want them flopping forward. And taking over the rest of the bow. All right, let's build on top. So I think I'm gonna go. We're gonna go pattern next. So I'm gonna do pattern. I'm gonna do pink plaid. Keeping some long tails, pinching and twisting and looping. That's it. 
long as you're pinching and twisting, you'll have a good bow. Pinch, twist, and loop. All right, now let's come back on top. Let's see what else I have left to use. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in my bunny. Now, it is a one-directional bunny, so I don't want a lot of upside-down bunnies. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, there was no pinching and twisting with that one. Okay, I got way too big, though. <laughs> okay. Bring it back in, Shell. Bring it back in. Oh, that is such a pretty ribbon. I love those bunnies. So cute. And now, because we just looped and folded it over, they're all facing the same way. So now you don't have any upside down bunnies. All right, now let's come on top with our blue. I love this blue. It is flocked in the center. And then it has that gingham edge. It is vibrant. So they're a little bit smaller because we're working our way to the center. I'll just use my bad scissors. We're just moving everything kind of where we want it as we go. That way we don't run into the struggle after we tie it. And then we have yellow. And it's just a solid. Then we're going a little bit smaller. Wait, which way am I going? I lost my path. Yeah, okay. All those bright Easter colors that we love. All right, now we need a button. What color do I want to use? I think I'm going to come back on top with this pink. We haven't used this one. It's like a burlap. I mean a canvas um, pink and it has that gingham edge like the blue and we're just making a button with it so just one little loop just like that all right now oh come on seriously are my zip ties. I could have swore I brought them in here, but I guess I did not. Okay, so we're gonna pipe cleaner. Just running it around the middle. And twisting it off. hot in here. All right. I want to make sure it's good and twisted. Snip it off. Now I'm going to grab a piece of this floral wire. Run it around the center. I don't like tying my bows off with floral wire. I just don't. I never can get it tight enough. I'm going to run that floral wire around there and I'm going to twist it off. And then we can run it around the wreath. It's hot, y'all. Okay. Now we can run it around the wreath and you won't be able to see it. Or you can stick it through. And twist it off back there also. 
We'll see if I can get that. Okay, you would think with it being a piece of wire, it would run right through that grapevine. Come on, there we go. All right, now let's see if I can go back here and find it. The back of this wreath is hollow, so it does make it easier to stick things like this through it. Make sure I got it where I want it first. But it also kind of makes a mess too, and you have to clean the back up a little bit before you send it to your customer. We're going to twist it off like this, and we can always come back and play around with it a little bit later. Let's see, the back is hollow. So, see, it's a little messy. I even have a tattoo on it. All right, let's fluff this baby out so we can see where it's going to sit. everything where I want it to go or else it's not going to flow like I want it. There we go. And then, let me see. stuck a U-pin through the top, in through the grapevine to hold it high. I want all my tails down like that. Those beautiful long flowy tails. And I have glue everywhere. All right, let's give it a little snip snap. Get some dovetails. I'll bend that around there later. We'll move that button ribbon tail over. Even if we have to glue it down a little bit. All right. There's our super cute bow. That hair is fire. I know. I know. I wonder who did it, Cheyenne. <laughs> Thanks. Y'all, Cheyenne just did my hair yesterday. And I love it, but I'm hot. I don't know why I get my hair done. It goes up in a clip anyway. But these grays that come in right there, they'd be covered up. Because when I'm on here, that ring light makes them shine. They just like to stand out. All right. I'm going to throw that down real quick. And we'll pick it back up. Get this ribbon out of my way just a little bit. I 
we can start adding some more of our goodies. Oh, that's so bright. I just love that. Okay, now I have this enormous carrot. <laughs> this also came from Kali. And I was wanting to see about adding it, like right across here. Now this is crooked. There. And so I was thinking of adding it in there like that. Because I thought that was super precious. And I think we might do that. So we just have to figure out a way. There's always a way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take a pick. One that I've already cut off of something. Which I guess I really haven't cut many today now, have I? Found it in the trash. Okay, I'm going to cut one off these carrots because we're going to cut these anyway. And I'm just going to pick it. Yeah. Some glue. Run it right in that carrot. Make our own carrot pick. Some more glue. For some extra durability. Now, if we can just get it to sit inside this grapevine, we're going to be in business. Make sure that's where I want it. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it went in there perfect. Now, I'm going to floral pick the back of some of this greenery. I'm going to push it down with something besides my fingers. Got a little more hot glue on it so it'll stay. And now you can't even see it. Ta-da! I'm telling you all my comments don't come up. See? Ah, thanks! <laughs> You know, Sherry, I'm really starting to embrace the gray. Hey, Christy, I'm starting to embrace the gray, but it only grows in right here. So it's like right here and it just shines and I don't like what it does to my face. So I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to embrace it soon. I promise. I'm only 30. Ugh. Okay. Look at these adorable carrots. And they even have like a mossy top. I promise next time I'm going to charge my iPad, guys, so I can actually see this. One of these days. Okay, I love these carrots. So we're going to sprinkle these in here. Oh my gosh, those are cute. Oh, these are so precious. I love those mossy tops on them. All right, let's bring one down here. Just gonna run it in there. Now we have this bunny, okay? This came from the Hobby Lobby. We gotta fix its ears. I just don't know how I feel about that bow. I think it matches. If I had some more colors, I'd probably put some more in it. But we gotta put our bunny rabbit in here. So I need to go ahead and get him put in, or her, I'm sorry, her. I have to get her put in here so I can work around her and not cover her up. Okay, 
You're definitely going to need a hole for that. I need you to get down to Michael's and get some of those $5 grab bags. There's probably not any left. Have y'all got any? Like, that's a, they throw a $5 grab bag in it. It's like a whole stinking box. And I need to go get some. I do not like how she's laying out to the side like that. We're going to have to fix that. See if we can do it with some floral pins. I feel like I want her right there. Oh, now she's gonna stay. We're still gonna have to floral pin it. They're all in the trash. Hey, Kiyomi. Luann, the back is hollow. It is not solid. So I wish it was. I like the big chunky moss bases that are solid. This one's not. Um, so I will have to clean up the back when I'm done. And it came from Kali. Um, Kali's Floral Supplies is what I want to say her shop's called, but I'm not 100% certain. Not 100%. Okay, y'all, like, y'all know I've been on a 60919 kick. I've been talking about it. Like, it just is what it is. So I brought some blue, and I think we're going to work with the blue because I love blue and orange together. I think they complement each other beautifully. And... The 60919 is obviously a super great filler bush. I gotta make a big hole for this one. And so I'm gonna work a few of those pieces in here, hopefully. Because of the wispiness that we have going on in here, that's the reason I'm adding it, and because I just I love that pop of turquoise with that orange. And it's bringing out the blue that we put into our bow. Spread it out. Don't just leave it all stuck. Somebody said on a live the other day, they're like, give each piece a handshake. And I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. You want to get everything out of it that you're paying for. So give each piece a handshake and then you can put it in there. We're going to run one. Let's see. Let's run in there. I cannot stab myself through the back of the dang base. Come on. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. This base is, mm, is not the most friendly thing to work with. So, it's beautiful and everything, but uh, it is not number one on my list of favorite wreath bases. 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm just kind of working that in with the other one so it's not just poking out front. Just working that blue in there. All right, we got one more blue piece. Oh, this is the twiggy piece. This one's my favorite. I love twigs. I wish I had some more twigs on here. Now, let's see. Do I want to run this one in here? Yes, I do. You really have to do surgery on this dang thing to get anything in it. And it's a whole deal. It's like implants. Like putting in some hair plugs or something. Gotta go to each little follicle. Get in there. Where I want you to be. Yes, I love blue and orange. Isn't that so gorgeous? Like such pops of color in with that green. Oh my gosh, okay. I have the hollow one too and don't know, don't like how it looks when done. Yeah, hey Latoya. Yeah, I just, the back, I mean, if you want it, um, you can clean it up or you can take some felt and cut out pieces and cover it like that. You could kind of do both of those. Okay, so I have some lettuce and then I have some cabbage. I forgot I was going to put those in there. That's okay. We're going to make it work. Do we want cabbage? Or do we want lettuce? Lettuce or cabbage? I think we're going to have cabbage. These are going to get saved for that other bunny booty that I have. <clears throat> something hang on y'all I need something pointy well that's pointy it might could start the hole for me everything is requiring surgery today <sighs> gotta work for beauty I guess okay see if that helps at all to get this down in there no, no, and no. Oh, fine. We just had to pick it. We had to pick it. And we got to glue it so it don't come out. Oh gosh, that just fits so perfect. Now why did that just come apart? Oh, that looks ugly. Don't do that. I'm gonna turn it to where you can't see it. Just add some glue where it went through. Lots of it. Lots of glue. Oh, that's so cute. In our garden. So I have two of them. I want to use both. Want to use both? Believe it or not, I might only use one because I forgot. And I didn't save any room. Nope. Did not save any room for my other cabbage. That could work though. 
We could go right in there. Really want it to face off this way. But I'm gonna break these if I'm not careful. Just pushing off my grass. Don't wanna do that. Just gotta kinda maneuver things, see if we can get this in there. Like, no wonder. This thing is getting 10 times a crooked and heavy. All right, she wanted the cabbages. We got to add the cabbages. All right, so one more surgery. One more surgery to go. I can get that in there, y'all. This is hard. They did not make these cabbages to be picked. Get in there. Yeah, we'll go in sideways like that. We can do that. Styrofoam, it's just not forgiving. How dare they make quality stuff? Like, don't they know what we use this for? Beautiful. Went in perfectly. Everything's just flowing around it. Bring that grassy piece up there. Bring this one out there. I don't want to lose any of my pieces I already put in. There we go. Now this one is a little wobbly. up with a few more greens. Lore. Lore. Make you sweat. Let's add some colorful eggs. Look at these. They're so cute. Okay, you can't see that. Why is it so bright? It's pink. Stop doing that. Oh, there we go. Can y'all see that wreath that I got too? Look how pretty it is. All right, so we're going to add some solids and some stripes. These four are gorgeous. And now we have to pick these. Floral wire is thick enough. No. All right. We cut some more picks. Cut some more picks. Do some more surgery. Sprinkle some eggs. Oh, those go a lot easier. Way easier. All right, let's sprinkle these bad boys in here. Get our color spreading throughout.
one definitely needs to go right there. That one kind of has a longer pick on it, so I think I can make it work. I definitely got to get in there and get a hole started. Find it. Get in there. Oh, there we go. Get in. for sure. I'm trying to alternate the stripes and the solids. If I can get this one to come right out from under this bow, that'd be super cute. hidden away in there like an easter egg hunt those are precious oh no look at these real carrots okay so i know about these on clearance because look at these carrots that came with the cat that i got with the cabbages last season they're like real what isn't that so cute that's gonna look super cute in my little um peter cotton sale one that i got in store coming up. All right, I'm just going to go through, add some more greenery. We're going to fill this up just a little bit more, even though it's like crazy full right now. <laughs> We're being all kinds of extra. All kinds of extra with it. I had brought in some of these um, curlies like this that I was going to add to kind of coordinate with this. And so those would be cute too. I think we are going to add a couple of those. I think I like that. We'll see. I'll go ahead and cut them up. And if not, we'll use them on something else. I love adding pops of black and white though to everything. Whether that be like the whimsical polka dot black and white or um, plaid black and white, just pops of black and white, I think just, you can't really go wrong, especially for Easter. And Mardi Gras and spring and Christmas. <laughs> Like I said, add them to all the things. Oh, add my skin to this one and some hot glue. Oops, I just got a straggler.
little lower. Out this way. I think we'll go down here with it. See if we can't stretch that out a little bit. I like that. I do, I do, I do. All right, guys. I think we're done. I think we are done. I'm going to pick it up and show y'all what we got going. Get a little closer. Yeah, okay, so you don't realize how big it is until you pick it up. And then it's like, oh, hello. I have the size of your body. Look how much we made it grow. Is that not so awesome? Like, it's so full and colorful. Ah, absolutely love it. So fun and different. Love, love, love it. All right, my coffee's cold. It's time to go warm it up. About to get started on the tutorial in the private group. If you're interested in joining, message me. The link is on my business page. You can go to my link tree and go to, go to Shelved Crafty VIP. It's $14.99 for the first month and then $19.99 a month after. You get at least two tutorials a week and we do all the things. Then we just hang out and have fun. So, I offer y'all supplies at my price, um, wreath kits every so often, just different things and we're just growing. So if you're interested, give me a shout, go to my page, click that link tree link and it'll take you right to it. So anyway guys, I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out. I hope y'all like this wreath, hope you're inspired and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye everybody.